Before we continue this video, I want you to join the Team Full on Discord server and try the official guides in the hashtag announcement chat before continuing this video. Here's what you need to do before installing Fallout London. Back up your Fallout 4. Go to Documents My Games, Fallout 4, and move everything outside into a new folder. Purge your mods and make a new modding profile in either MO2 or Vortex. You need a fresh, next-gen Fallout 4. Either Steam Verify Integrity Game Files or reinstall Fallout 4. And run the Fallout 4 launcher and configure your settings to generate new INI files. And the last step, set your app manifest 377.160 for Fallout 4 to read only. Alternatives to Fallen Downgrading the Fallout London downgrader requires a Steam login, and if you're not comfortable with that, there are alternative downgraders such as Simple and Fallout 4 downgrader, or manually downgrading. Downloading Fallout downgrader. All right, I'm gonna head to the files page of the mod, and I'm gonna download the Fallout London downgrader and add-ons, and do a manual download for it. And then I'm just going to make a new folder just called fo 4 london and put the downgrader in that folder and extract it there. Then open the full-on downgrader folder and run the downgrader. Then find out where your Fallout 4 is installed and copy the game path and paste it into the downgrader and continue. Then all you need to do is put, put in your Steam login and Steam guard code and press downgrade. This downgrader is a pain in the ass. You will probably have to restart it, you'll probably have to submit another code, and you'll probably have to press enter at random points. The pros are it removes the CC content automatically, and this little message they left in the downgrader. Downloading Fallout London. Okay, head over to the Fallout London GOG site and click giveaway, and then add to library. You're gonna have to log in to GOG, then click add to library again. Then click the Fallout London button, and click it again to get the drop down menu. And then you're going to click download and install now. Installing Fallout London. I'm going to drop the GOG London application into my folder and run it. Let it download everything and then log into the GOG Galaxy launcher. Give it some time to load and don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, you have to route this to your game path. I got confused and routed to a, another place because I thought it was a GLG installation and had to reinstall it again. You'll get this window if you reinstall and let it finish downloading. It's going to take over an hour. Loading Fallout London, MO2 and Vortex. If you did everything right, you should be left with the Fallout 4 INI and Fallout 4 Prep. If you open up the Fallout 4 INI, under Archive, you should see London World Space and the latter. You can cross-reference this in the Hashtag Solutions channel of the Fallout London Discord. Archive and Validation should already be installed, but if you need to add it again, put these lines of code into your Fallout 4 custom.ini. Save it, and these lines will be in the description. Loading Fallout London, MO2. Create a new instance for Fallout London, a uh, global instance. And if you use profile specific INIs, you can copy the INIs from my game Fallout 4 and paste them into your MO2 profile folder. And now you're ready to run Fallout London. Loading Fallout London Vortex. All you have to do is go to dashboard and remove the F4SC shortcut and then add it through the button and load your game up. How to know your game is running correctly. The game might take a bit to load, but here's what you should see. Fallout London main menu, the intro, scene, and the gender selection menu. You should not see Nate or Nora, and if you have any more questions or trouble or crashes, visit the solutions channel in the official Fallout London Discord. Hope this guide helped and cheers to a working game.